I don't know how you think Pearl Jam is better than Nirvana. Well, they just are. It blows my mind. But how? Nirvana is like the face of grunge. Well, I don't know. Like, just better man. Though. That song oh, is better than every yeah. song in other bands. That's, I guess, what separates them. But still, I don't know. I feel like Nirvana is better. Look at all this crap. Holy. Oh. Oh. oh, bro, bro, bro. Look at that. Holy. This is high tide, bro. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Hey, wait up. I always wondered, how does high tide work? You see that little guy up there? Little guy, where? No, there's not actually a little guy, it's the moon. Uh, no, I don't see it anywhere. Okay, whatever, but the point is, the moon causes high tide. Oh, really? How? Well, the moon's gravitational pull generates tidal force. Oh, how does that work? Okay, so the moon has enough gravity pulling on Earth to move things around. Even though the moon is one one hundredth the mass of Earth. <laughs> if the moon was pulling on those weeds over there, you wouldn't be able to tell. But, when the moon pulls on the ocean water, it's much easier to tell because water has an easier time moving around. Okay, how am I supposed to tell though if the moon is pulling on the water? Well, well, it's pretty simple. As our area of Earth rotates into the direction of the moon, the water will bulge out towards it. Whoa! Oh, bro, are you okay? Also, the side farthest from the moon bulges out. This is why we have two high tides per day. Hold up, I'm confused. Why does the side farthest from the moon bulge out? I know, bro, it's weird. It's tidal force. We don't make the rules. What even is tidal force? Well, tidal force is a force that stretches a body towards and away from the center of mass of another body due to a difference in strength. The result of tidal force is a stretching and squashing of Earth. This is what causes two tides to bulge. Oh, it all makes sense now. So the two low tides must be where not in one of these tide bulges, right? Correct! The tides are all just caused by moon's gravity? Yeah, most of the time. Wait, what do you mean most of the time? Well, the sun can also cause tides. What? How does that work? Well, it works the same way as the moon, except the bulges are smaller because the sun is farther away from us than the moon is. When the earth, sun, and moon all line up, you get a full moon. Wow, did you look at that? A full moon. What, what does that have to do with anything? When there's a full moon, the sun and moon tides reinforce each other, creating extreme tides. Called spring tides. But when the sun and moon tides act against each other, you get neap tide, a tide in which the difference between high and low tide is the least. Neap tides occur when the sun and moon are at right angles to the earth. This happens twice a month. Very interesting. Thanks for teaching me. What the? Did you know wind and weather can affect tides? 
impossible. Actually, anything is possible. High pressure weather can push down on sea levels causing very small waves. Low pressure weather such as hurricanes can cause much higher tides than predicted. So be careful. You see this water right there? How high it is? It's only low tide. So, this is gonna get way worse, obviously. Oh my god. That wind is so strong! Wow, that's just amazing. Oh!